Hi. Oh, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Hi. Thank you. It's time to wake up. <laughs> you have to get out of bed. Come on. It's time to wake up. No, silly. You gotta wake up. <laughs> You're so pink. It's time to wake up. Oh, good morning. Yeah, there he is. Good morning. Good morning. It's time to go potty. Yeah, potty. Um, good morning. I'm a mess. I'm gonna go shower and get ready for the day. But I wanted to start my vlog because today I'm gonna vlog all of the junk that I do on Sundays to prep for the work week. So I love starting my first video in months looking like crumb, but I just woke up so you'll have to excuse that. So I'm gonna go shower. Normally I wouldn't shower before I like spend all day cleaning, but I actually think that Jake, my husband, is probably going to wake up like midway through the day and want to go like do something for a little bit. So just in case, I'm going to go, you know, take care of that business. That way I don't have to like be like, oh my god, now I have to leave the house looking like this. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to switch to a voiceover for a little bit and, um, Basically, that's because when I'm doing this, I usually am listening to a audiobook or some sort of music, so it's a lot easier for me to just explain to you guys what's going on, um, even though I think that might be a little self-evident here. I'm just cleaning the guinea pig's cage. It needs a deep clean, but I had so much to do this day that, honestly, I just cleaned what needed to be cleaned um, and then I will get to their hay rack and the walls of their cage the next time I clean it which uh, as of doing this voiceover is tomorrow so um, I use the disposable pads even though they do create a little bit of waste honestly because it's easier for me I work 50 hours a week right now sometimes more than that so uh, cleaning is something I need to make as simple as possible. I do do fleece on one side of their cage. They're getting older. They need the extra cushion. And uh, I just fold it under the critternation trays. I also have yoga mats on top of the critternation trays just for a little extra comfort. And then this pad you see there is just covering the gap. Um, between the two critter nations because there is a gap between the two not on the outside but on the inside where the trays don't totally connect and then moving on to the rats which arguably is the worst view you guys get in this whole video I couldn't seem to get uh, a good shot so <laughs> you can only see the top of the cage and again like the guinea pigs I am mostly cleaning what absolutely has to be cleaned and then I'm leaving the rest for another time also unfortunately during this voiceover you're going to hear my fire alarm beep I apologize so um, the rats kind of just roam around while I'm doing this a lot of the time I will let them out of their cage but they've already been out today well <laughs> not today but that day and uh, so they are just wandering around waiting for food I usually feed them after I clean I don't think I filmed this in this video actually I know I didn't film feeding anybody so uh, you won't see that but I do scatter feed them so they get very excited and there's moody <laughs> And now I'm moving on to Trix's cage. I'm only cleaning half of her cage today. I try to do that pretty regularly um, because she is more comfortable with that. She definitely does not like full cage cleans. So I'm cleaning out the left side where her wheel and food 
typically is because that seems to be the messy side. She doesn't really go to the bathroom where she sleeps. And if you look closely, you can see that she is awake watching me and wondering what I'm doing inside of that pink little barn house over there. So she does get um, a little frustrated when I clean the entire cage. So I try to keep that to about once a month. Sometimes I have to do it more than that because she's decently messy, but I try my best. Okay, so I have clearly showered, gotten ready, yay. Um, I also, I need like better lighting. My kitchen's a disaster. Whatever, okay. So I also finished the um, pet room for the most part. I mean, I did the pig cage, the rat cage, and Trix's cage, Finn's cage doesn't need done, but it will be. Uh, redone probably next month in time for him to wake up and then uh, Weasley is fine I gave him a couple super worms which I don't think I filmed I can't remember at some point I turned around and realized my camera wasn't filming anymore so I might have missed that so now I'm moving on to human things so I have to clean up my kitchen and then meal prep uh, so I have to meal prep both for me and for Knox and Felix, my cat and dog. Um, they are on frozen raw currently. And uh, I like to pre-portion that out so that I don't have to do it every day during the week. I do have some portions ready for them, but um, I need to, if you look at my very dirty kitchen sink, all of these containers are the dirty ones throughout the week. So I need to go ahead and wash those. And then obviously I've got like lunch bags and stuff like that sitting around um, because I need to give my kitchen a clean and then, um, you know, cook. So I probably won't super thoroughly clean my kitchen if I'm going to cook. I think I'm making taco bowls with cilantro rime, lime rice. I'm gonna try that. And then um, pizza ball things, pizza bombs, I think they're called, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'll film that and uh, oh, Felix and Ox need to eat too, so I'll probably let Felix pee real quick and then feed them. So now I'm just prepping Felix's food. I prepped Nox's too, but I didn't need to this day. He's on Northwest Naturals currently and Nox is on Vital Cat. Um, Felix eats 16 ounces a day of this and it needs thawed before he eats it or at least partially thawed. So I divvy it up into eight ounce containers. That way he just eats one container per meal. As you can see, they're all prepped next to me. And then I move on to meal prep for myself. So as soon as we get there, I'll be making pizza bombs or pizza balls. I don't really know what you would want to call them. Um, but they are just biscuit dough that you can see sitting there and cheese and pepperoni. I like to use turkey pepperoni because it's not as greasy and I actually put sauce in them this time but normally I just serve it with sauce and don't put the sauce on the inside because a few of them exploded. So uh, yeah, don't put the sauce on the inside unless you're better at folding your biscuit dough than I am. Um, I also top them with garlic butter that has Italian seasoning in it but I barely recorded that and I didn't show you what they look like when they're done, but they're delicious. And uh, I've made them a few times now, so. I also think maybe putting seasoning on the inside of them would make them better too. Okay, so the hair's back up. I look identical to how I started this vlog, but it's fine. So, uh, my camera died, but I wound up putting garlic butter on top of the pizza bombs. And then um, all I have left is I'm gonna make some taco bowls for this week, I think. I'm gonna attempt to make them kinda like Chipotle, but not really, just sorta kinda. But I think we're gonna go out to dinner first, cause I'm making all of this food the house smells great, but none of it's for tonight. So, uh, I'll probably pick back up after dinner, as soon as these pizza bombs are done at least. And then I also made, well, I didn't make it, but like I bought one of these little cornbread bakes 
from Walmart, so we'll see if that's any good. I baked it, but I mean, I've never had one of theirs before. I just didn't want to make one from scratch or from Jiffy or whatever, so we'll see if that's any good. That will potentially go with the taco bowls. I don't know. I just, it seemed good at the store, so I made it. <laughs> So another thing that I meal prep pretty routinely actually is, I guess it's not really meal prepping, is it drink prepping? I don't know. I make myself coffee. I don't like hot coffee, or at least I definitely don't prefer it. So I make my coffee the night before, put it in the fridge. Today, as you can see, I was making a mocha, so I do that with hot chocolate mix, and um, I run water through my coffee maker once it's done. I don't know why I'm showing that, but I use hot chocolate mix and let that sit in the fridge overnight, and then in the morning when I wake up, I'll add some creamer, put it in my Yeti, take it to work, and then we're good to go. Um, I really struggled with that lid also. and. Um, this is just me packing my husband's lunch. He had leftovers. It looks like a lot of food because it is a lot of food. We're usually at work like 11 hours. So we eat at more than once usually. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think I'm mostly done for the night. I don't think I filmed bits and pieces of like what I did when I came back from dinner. So when I came back from dinner, I made some taco meat. I did ground turkey and just like, you know, taco seasoning. And that's in the fridge. I didn't make the taco bowls tonight because when we were at dinner, my husband had bigger eyes than a stomach. So he has tons of leftovers. So he is going to take those uh, for lunch tomorrow. So I went ahead and set aside just the taco meat um, and then I'll make the taco bowls probably for Tuesday. Um, I am taking the pizza bomb things tomorrow. So I packed those um, and got that all situated for tomorrow. I can't remember how much of that I filmed because my camera was dying again. Um, because my second battery was only partially charged, so. Uh, I finished my laundry, which I didn't really show you guys because that seemed weird. And then obviously I finished the pet stuff earlier. I'm probably going to get out either the rats or tricks tonight just to hang out, but um, I think I'm gonna watch a show while I do that on Netflix so it's gonna be dark in here so I don't know if there will be any clips of that um, I was also debating on whether or not maybe to give Trix a bath so if I do that I'll film it if I don't do that then obviously it won't be in the video but yeah so today I cleaned all the cages and I made a bunch of food. Yesterday we went grocery shopping. We normally go grocery shopping on Sundays. So that would have been just like another thing to deal with. So anyway, I'm gonna get off of here and see if I can get any of this edited. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully. It, <laughs> hopefully it won't be like a million years from now, which seems to be my current record. Um, I can always film on the weekends if I have an idea of what to film. So if you guys have any specific requests, leave them down below and uh, hopefully I get this edited because filming is one thing editing during the work week is a whole other thing <laughs> so anyway i will see you guys next time hopefully bye Now we must increase ours. Captain, I assume so. Hello, Stinky. I find myself temporarily. You ready to eat? Please fetch it.
a very persuasive man. I'm a lonely heart, heart feline. I'll take what's mine and I'll leave behind.